No matter what type of chart you create, Tableau displays data using marks. The bars in a bar chart, squares on a heat map, and shapes on a scatter plot are all examples of marks. And one part of the Tableau workspace is crucial to the way marks appear, the marks card. The marks card lets you change various aspects of marks, such as the type of mark, color, size, shape, mark labels, and so forth. The first option to look at on the marks card is mark type. Making choices from this drop-down list determines the overall type of chart you'll create. Once you've chosen a mark type, other simple changes can be made by just clicking buttons on the marks card and choosing desired options, whether it's changing color, size, or shape. But the real power of the marks card comes from dragging dimensions and measures onto buttons on the marks card. If you drop a measure onto color, marks will display graduated shades of color depending on the range of numbers the measure returns. Dropping a dimension on color breaks marks into discrete color chunks, such as those used in a stacked bar chart or a pie chart. You'll usually drop a measure on size to vary size of marks based on the values in the measure. And if you choose a shape mark type, you can drop a dimension on shape to vary the shape based on different members of the dimension. And once you've dropped a dimension or a measure on the marks card, clicking a marks card button will display additional options for marks, such as the edit color or edit shape dialog box. The marks card is a powerful part of Tableau that lets you customize many aspects of your charts.